Through this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate your GoDaddy webmail emails to a Gmail account. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a Gmail account set up and log into that. And make sure that you have your GoDaddy credentials handy as well. So when you come to the Gmail account, you're going to go to the gear, which is in the upper right corner, and click on settings. Settings is going to bring you to the screen that you see right here and then click on accounts and support or I'm sorry accounts and imports I should say and then add pop3 mail account you own. I've already added a couple so there's some there already but I'm going to add another add the complete address and then do the same thing again. In the username section, add the complete address and then the password. And the pop server should be pop.secureserver.net. And if you want to um, have a SSL or secure se connection, then select 995. I like to leave a copy of the retrieved message on the server, so I'm going to do that. And always use secure SSL connection. And I want to make sure that I know where these emails are coming from because I have multiple emails transferring into here. So I'm going to label incoming messages by the email address name. Once I've added the account, another box is going to pop up and talk about SMTP. So that would basically allow you to send back and forth. Um, I'm not interested in doing that right now. I just want to back up all the emails that are there already. So I'm just going to go ahead and press add account. It's taking a little longer than usual. So once you've done that, um, it'll ask you if you want to be able to send mail as whatever the email account you set is. You can go ahead and do that if you want, or you can say no. And I just press next step. And like I said earlier, um, it's going to want you to set up SMTP. I'm not going to do that right now. And so what this is going to do is it's going to add to your list of POP3 and it's going to start checking your mail. It's going to add the things from the inbox into your inbox here. It's also going to show you the email addresses that you've added via POP3 to Gmail. One thing I want to point out too is if you log into your regular Google Mail account, the online account, it's only going to transfer the things that are in your inbox. So what that means is that anything that are in additional folders that you have on the site are not going to transfer over unless you click on those, select all, and move them to the inbox. So once you've done that, uh, that's how you know it'll complete the transfer over. So you'll just have to keep on doing this um, until you get all of your emails out of these folders and into your inbox. Now, if you want to check on this, you can just go ahead and see on the, in, the, in the inbox if the messages are transferring properly because it's labeled by the email address that you transferred. A uh, secondary thing you can do is you can go to the gear in the upper right, settings, and then again, go to accounts and import, and it'll tell you the status of what it's doing. So, for example, the first one here that I've imported, it says that 200 emails have been fetched, and there's 1,348 remaining. So it'll continue to keep you uh, informed on how much progress that you've made. And that is how you import your Google Webmail emails to a Gmail account.